Another test is called tympanometry. It's where I get a big tin pan and bash you over the head with it. Seriously? Alex's Hearing Help Desk. Turning it down, Professor! It's too loud! What? Hang on. I'll turn the volume down. Although, if you ask me, that wasn't loud at all. I could barely hear it. You have definitely got a problem with your hearing if you think that wasn't loud. Look, I've spoken with your doctor and we've arranged for you to have your ears checked by an audiologist, Dr Melanie Malleus. She's a very good audiologist. Malleus? Malleus? Now that name rings a bell. Now where? Professor Hallux to room three, please. Nanobot, Hallux, great to see you. Oof, no need to shout. My hearing seems to come and go, Doctor. At the moment, it's right here inside my head. Well, I understand you've been having some trouble with your ears since the scientific swimming gala. So I'm going to give them a thorough check. And you don't have to call me Dr. Malleus. You can call me Mel. Smell? Oh dear. That's an unfortunate name. What were your parents thinking? Professor! Mel! Ha! Only joking. Got you there, didn't I? Uh, very funny. So, uh, why don't we get started? Yes, let's. The first thing I need to do is have a look inside your ear with my special flashlight. It's called an otoscope. Oh, it looks a bit like a pen with a pointy microscope on the top. A bit, yes. I'm going to gently place it in your ear, Professor, to have a really good look inside your ear. If we can see daylight, it means you haven't got a brain. And that's a lot more of a serious problem. OK, I made that last bit up. As well as looking into your ear, I have a number of ways to test your hearing. We often do these in a soundproof room like this one. Yes, I noticed it was very quiet in here. Why do you need a soundproof room? So no one outside can hear your screams. <laughs> Sorry, just a joke there. Just trying to relax you. I think I'd be a lot more relaxed if you stopped talking about screaming. Oh, all right, spoil sport. It's soundproof so you can concentrate on the tests, some of which involve very quiet sounds. I might need to put some headphones on you also. Brilliant. Some nice music to relax me. Uh, nope. Don't get excited. You're not about to hear a load of really cool tunes. Not unless this is your idea of a cool tune. Not likely to get you dancing, is it? The beeps are made by a special machine called an audiometer, which produces sounds at different volumes and pitches. That's a bit more like rock music. Every time you hear a sound, I want you to press this button to show you've heard the beep. I'm going to test each ear by themselves. First, we'll start with your right ear. I think I can manage that. Another test is called tympanometry. It's where I get a big tin pan and bash you over the head with it. Seriously? Oh, OK. Only joking. I don't hit you over the head with anything. Tympanometry is a way of checking how your eardrum moves. It can also see if you have anything gloopy blocking your middle ear. The gloop could be waxy, lumpy or maybe like that watery snot you get in the back of your throat when you've got a cold. <laughs> Charming. Whatever it is, it's absolutely no help in your ear because it can make things sound rather muffled, like when you get water in your ears at the pool. If everything looks OK with your ear but you still can't hear, I might need to check to make sure the sounds are going to your brain. I just need to place some stickers on your head and connect them to my computer. I know it might look like I'm trying to read your mind, but it's just to check that the sounds are going to your brain OK. And even though it sounds a bit weird, it doesn't hurt. At most, the stickers might tickle a bit. That's all. These hearing tests sound quite fun. OK, not as much fun as riding a bike or sitting down with a massive bowl of chalky ice cream. Yes, they're really not difficult and shouldn't hurt a bit. So are you ready for us to start? Ready and raring to go. Alex's Hearing Help Desk. Find out more about your ears and hearing at phonak.com.